Hey there, I'm Lord Farquaad, and welcome to Dev Talk number two. In this Dev Talk, we'll be talking about a warp GUI uh, menu that I made for Just Cause 3 multiplayer. And before we get into it, I want to tell you that you should stay for the end of the video because there's some exciting stuff coming soon to Dev Talks. So, anyway, uh, currently, if, if you're using the default packages and stuff when you make a server for just because three multiplayer the only way to teleport to people and allow people to teleport to you is with a slash go to command and uh, I wanted to make a menu where you could see all the different players in the game and then teleport to them and then you could also accept people's teleports so that they can teleport to you etc and I, I made it based off of one that someone made for just because two multiplayer so I'll have that link in the description if you want to check that one out. So here it is. Uh, it just has me on it right now, but it normally wouldn't have you. I just have me on it for testing. Uh, and normally you would just have the Warp 2 button uh, for players. So when you click the Warp 2 button, normally when you press the Warp 2 button on a player, it'll send the player a chat message saying that you want to Warp to them. So like, oh, Lord Farquaad has requested to Warp to you. Uh, hit F9 to open up the warp menu to accept. So then when they open up the warp menu, instead of seeing these buttons, they'll actually only see the warp 2 button. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, they'll see an accept warp button under your name. So then when they click that button, uh, your player will be teleported to the player that you requested the warp to, and the button will disappear. And now there's, uh, there's actually a couple admin features. So you can register yourself as an admin in the configuration uh, when you download the package. Admins do not have to wait for someone to accept. When they hit Warp 2, it'll just go Warp 2. As you can see in the chat, it says, You Warp 2, Lord Farquaad, successfully. And then they also have a Warp Here button. So what they can do is just teleport any player to themselves. So you'll see, You Warp 2, Lord, you warp Lord Farquaad, to you successfully. So that way, if you want a certain player to teleport to you, you can just hit Warp Here, and they'll teleport right to you. So now on to the uh, announcements about Dev Talk. Um, so the first few episodes of Dev Talk are going to be pretty simple, smaller uh, packages and things, but we've got some big stuff planned for the future. So, so the first of these is going to be a talk about Deathmatch, uh, the game mode that I made for just because three multiplayer and uh, entered in the contest and. Uh, what's that? What that's going to be on is all the different uh, things that went into developing it, and how it was made, and all the different problems that were encountered. So that's going to be a more lengthy, lengthy uh, dev talk. And then there's a lot of stuff for uh, just because two multiplayer that I've worked on that I'm also going to be covering. Uh, first of which is Fallen Civilization. All the development that went into that. It's going to be pictures from uh, way back when, when it was first in its early, early alpha stages. And we're going to have a guest speaker for that. It's going to be Dev34, who was uh, the other main developer for that. I'm also going to talk about uh, Galaxar, uh, which is another project that uh, Dev34 and I were working on for a time, but then uh, we didn't finish for different reasons, which will be covered in the video. And then uh, Golf, which uh, kind of stemmed from Galaxar in a way, uh, and also from a different, a few other different things. So that'll be another episode as well. So there's a lot of uh, exciting big uh, dev talks coming to give you insight into developing these uh, larger game modes and that take more time and effort and a lot of testing.